This is total extremist irrationality. Okay. I mean, some of the macrobiological diet followers are some of the craziest out there, but so are the paleo and really the keto people really don't have it figured out what harm they're going to do their body long term. You can look at the keto thing. You'll see people have talked about before keto, during keto and after keto. And you'll have a slightly heavy set person that has a lot of body weight on them, a lot of fatty tissue. Then during keto, they'll slim down. And then after, after it, you know, they'll weigh, gain a lot more weight back. Okay. Cause it sends your body into an unnatural cycle. You cannot put your body and leave it in ketoacidosis. The acidotic state means that the body is actually eating itself. Okay. It's, it's just an unhealthy extremist approach. Okay. So all of these fad diets are not going to maintain optimum health. You know, what's going to maintain optimum health, true natural nutrition from high density water and nutrient foods that grow in the earth naturally without human modification. That's the eternal truth of the dynamic when it comes to nutrition folks. And no one will ever convince me otherwise because that is how nature intended it. And that's how nature works. So, and secondly, many, many people, including myself are absolutely living proof. Proof. You could live strong and healthily eating a plant-based diet. Okay. So, um, that's my take on fad diets. Now, I want to show you this book because along with earthlings. This book is probably the best book that I have ever read on holistic nutrition. Okay. Now people can say whatever they want about Kevin Trudeau. He's in jail right now. I'm going to say he's not in jail because of what they claim that he's in jail for, which is fraud because of a diet program that he released. Okay. He's in jail because the rulers of the whole world, but specifically those who control the pharmaceutical cartels and who control big agri cartels wanted to put this guy away and make an example out of him for largely this book, natural cures. They don't want you to know about it's probably a six or 700 page book. Most people haven't read it. Most people won't just like they won't read the next book. I'm going to tell them to read. Okay. But let me tell you something, throw in the garbage can, anything that you think about Kevin Trudeau. I don't care whether you think he's an honest human being or a dishonest human being. Okay. Somebody who did dishonest business practices can still be telling the truth about food. Okay. So this is where discernment comes into play where you can say, maybe he did do dishonest business practices when it came to money, but that does not negate what he said regarding human nutrition and food. This book woke me up to the dangers in factory farm food and all the preservatives and additives and chemicals that are in most packaged foods that are on the supermarket shelves. Okay. It's long. It's well documented and detailed. He goes into just about every dynamic of food and nutrition that you could possibly imagine in this book. It is, it is, it is a textbook. It's not like a textbook. It's a textbook. Okay. And it reads like one. All right. But if you make the time to read it cover to cover all the way through, you got to read it all, not skim chapters, not read the headlines of the chapters or go to the images and read the captions, read it cover to cover. And if you don't come out with a transformed understanding of what's going on with human food in the modern world, I feel sorry for you because this is the book that blew the top of my head off when it came to understanding what's really going on with food and, and really making the very beginnings of my dietary changes and subsequent body and health changes. Okay. So, uh, why this guy is in prison is because they wanted to make an example out of him, gave him a 10 year sentence for claiming that he was involved in fraud regarding a diet program and then saying he was in contempt of court. That's why they added so many years to the, to the prison sentence, because they were saying he didn't acknowledge the authority of the judge.